All right, I'm out today for the next step in my journey with my MiG-29 version 2. Uh, this time, I've beveled a heap of the leading edges, smoothed out the front of the plane, um, and I'm going to get a couple of close flybys past the camera to um, run it through a Doppler to see what kind of speed we're getting out of it. Um, the other reason is there's a very good chance that these are going to bring me some issues. If you don't get them right, stuff can happen. So if I get those issues, what I will do is I will make videos about those issues just so you can follow the complete journey. Alright, I'm not going to know what speed I get till I get home and put it on the Doppler and to be honest, I don't expect it to be a screamer. I have not built it for that. Um, I pretty much built this to be a middle of the road plane and it's just interest sake really for um, how it goes. So let's get home, find out how it did. Okay, so not a screamer, but I have to be honest, 53.8 was a little bit higher than I expected. I expected 50-51 tops, so not doing too bad. It's fast enough to be fun, while at the same time it's not fast enough to need any extra strength anywhere in the plane. I've been known to get a lot better results out of this on smaller setups and on exactly the same motor, speed controller and battery, I've got over 75 miles an hour. Um, but once you get into these bigger planes, you really, you know, start getting into drag where if you want speed, you're going to want a larger motor. As it stands though, it's a nice aerobatic setup that's got a little bit of speed there, you know, if you're just down the park and all you want to do is gun it past your friends. You're not going to break any records with it, but again, that's not what I set out to do, so it's hardly surprising. <laughs> 